135-pound title fight as Mikey Garcia, current 135-pound champion, moving up in weight. Introducing to you first, the challenger on my right. He is fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks, but maroon trim. Fighting out of Moreto Valley, California, by way of Oxnard, California. He weighed in at 139 and one half pounds. With a tremendous record of 37 wins and no losses, he has 30 big wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, in his sixth world title appearance, ladies and gentlemen, here is the sensational three-division world champion and the current WBC lightweight champion of the world, introducing the undefeated Mikey Garcia. And his opponent across the ring, the defending world champion, fighting out of the red corner, wearing red trunks with gold trim. He is fighting out of Beverly Hills, California. He weighed in at 139 and three quarter pounds. An acclaimed kickboxer. His professional boxing record stands at 13 wins, no losses, with 10 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, making the first defense of his title, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the undefeated IBF Junior Welterweight Champion of the World. We're on the rules early. Antonio Sergei Lipinets in just his 14th professional boxing match, defending a 140. And for Mikey Garcia, Lipinets is his 11th straight opponent who has been. Referee Lawrence Cole calls for the bell. The champion, Sergei Lipinets. Part of the reason why it's not a huge issue to go up in weight and fight at 140, and as we've pointed Hard out, to be hit with anything. Buddy McGurk told us that Lippin yet falling into them, he'll get you. You keep your positioning to counter over the top of the stuff. Garcia, so flaps Garcia in the midsection with the jab, overhand, right hand. Lippin's is backing up Mikey, but Mikey almost feels comfortable backing up anyway, yeah. so it's exactly. interesting to see. Both guys. Slatichin in victory and knockout of the year candidate as he's a formidable counter puncher. Mikey's starting to make an adjustment with that right hand. He sees he's using a lot of feints to try and get in position to do things like throw that. you so much about this three division champion as he lands a hard right hand upstairs. Let's go to be low, but he want to go straight down and not bend over to the right because M Mikey's going to get extension on that right hand and land it hard. And he's starting to see. And they both grew at the same time. Garcia getting the better of that. Don't give him those right hands, he's trying to stay here. Once you come here, he's going to throw it. And the left hook of Garcia, probably the better of the two, the jab of Lipinets. 126, 130, 135, and 140, as Lipinets now comes away from the ropes. Excuse me, Marl, there's the uppercut from oh. Lipinets. Wow. Lipinets catch Garcia with a left hook, and now Garcia pouring on the pressure. Going to the Garcia now getting all over his body. And speaking of body, Lipinets attacking Garcia's body. In just his 13th fight, Mikey initiate a clinch. Just left down to the body and a jab on stick. Good one two combination by Garcia. And again, unloading with that one two. People don't really comment on the right as much. Man, that one two combination plenty. Up. When Mikey comes his way. In and out. Nothing, does And He slips the left. The left hand of Garcia and then lands his own counter left hook. We'd see the best way for him to be conditioned. And the only way you can do that is if you're making weight, okay. And when you the belt. And now Lepinets backing Garcia momentarily just on the inside. That if there's gonna be something that's gonna be a fight changer for Lepinets, it's that uppercut. Fundamentally very sound. But the one defensive flaw you may find with Mikey. Sometimes he's a little bit squared up. He's oh, left the off and next for Lepinets, right cross for Garcia. And another right hand for Garcia lands, but Lipinets. Again. Chess player. He feels that people underestimate Garcia's ability to think in the ring. Good stuff. Okay. You gotta move your head and go downstairs. Uh, in the course of this round, they're both throwing out jabs. That's the right hand of uh of Garcia that was so uh, effective a point in that round where the jab and the straight right hand. This has been the signature combination for Garcia 
in this fight. It's been the one that's worked. Adrian Broner and now here against Lippin Yetz. Um, I think he gets his respect. I make Broner put his hands in his pocket. I mean, you do that when, you know, you, you, you know, making at least you feel like he's dangerous. Triple left hook by Garcia. Yetz walking down the challenger, the current 135 pound titleist. Mikey Garcia was a huge chasm in experience. That's a key point, uh, Mo. You know, and I like the fainting by Lipinets. Yeah, he's punching up the things too. Yeah, Lipinets digging to the pot, looking to rally Mikey Garcia. Left hand as Lipinets lean forward. That's the kind of left hand you land and your hand hurts. See, kind of what Paulie talked about there. There's the left hand right on the head, and it wasn't landed. It was landed kind of sideways. Right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Somehow it was a step back for Lipinets. They think it helped him because he got a left uppercut and right hand. And in that fight against Kondo, you're right. He felt that. is very good in this fight. He's done a good job so far to the body. And, and he's smarting up with that right hand. He's not a minute left in the sixth. Action-packed frame. The majority of the rounds, and he might. Yeah. Oh, he's had to work for right every single one. Very hard. Yeah. has not given them no too much space for Mikey to throw the right Half hand. Half a minute left, and Garcia lands the one two, but a good counter left. Lancing the peekaboo guard and managing to land a right hand behind the guard upstairs. And let's like bring in our unofficial scorer, Steve Farhood. Mo, I thought that oh. Garcia was the one landing almost yeah, all the beauty oh. by Garcia. Good counter left oh, upstairs and a right hand by oh. Lepinets. And a fierce exchange in the center of the ring. Good exchange. Ca oh, and the counter. Six, seven, eight, seven. He kept his positioning, exchanged, didn't lose positioning, and was and that's, is capable of boxing. So he, if he seems as he's trying to punch with them, faint. Oh. He used that head movement and faint. And Lippin has done a great job of fainting and using the jab to his hand right. There's the jab, and here comes Lipinets with an excellent overhand right. That's a terrific punch, but his signature counter left hook. We'll see it coming in a moment. Here it is, counter left hook. We've seen this before. He get it back now. Oh, interesting. It was the uppercut, which I talked about in the keys to victory. Garcia counters, loves that punch, the uppercut. But in that instance, he threw it from in round seven. According to show stats, 10 of 14 power punches landed. Yeah. Since taking control of his career, having many options. Well, Sergey Lippin being fueled by this vociferous crowd in San Not everyone gets up from those big shots that, from Garcia. Granted, we're up at a higher weight. Face of Lippin Yetz. Trying to disrupt Lippin Yetz. Final 10 seconds of the eighth. Good combination, right hand lands for Garcia. Nice exchange at the end of round eight. The basic about keeping it basic when it takes away at the body. He has committed himself to that body work and done a good job with it. If Libanets was making a little bit of a rally, that sort of nullified it and ended that rally. Again. Garcia has two knockouts past the ninth round. One of the two knockout, two in the eighth. Absolutely. Just past the midpoint of the ninth. And it keeps Mikey thinking. Oh, right hand, oh. left hook. Wow. Lamp, but Garcia does not panic and comes back with an attack of his own. Mikey got hit because he went straight back. Big shot. And, and look at that still oh, trying right to hand. Shoot. Right up him to do. Get involved in a slugfest with Mikey Garcia. But they did say they were going to punch with Mikey, and he'd make it. Good one, two lads for Garcia. Lipinets lands a jab, and the right hand goes downstairs on the body. This is part of the reason why. There you see a kind of a, 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 a right hand bounce off Garcia's head, and then he right comes around. right around Garcia, using the jab and a straight right hand. And that was a great right hand. Again, he finishes with the Number hook. 10, Freeman Coliseum, San Antonio, Texas. Quick start by Lipinets. And that despite his level of experience, he can he can hang with the top 140 pounds. going to remain in the, in the upper, upper echelon of the 140 pound division. Another one to Again, heavy right hand for Garcia. Left talking. Not using it as, as effectively. Garcia makes his punches count. Oh. <laughs> I love how Lippin Yetz lands the left. Another one, two lands for Garcia. Good. Janat 
Zakianov, Oleg Moskaya being the winner title in his fourth weight class tonight. Oh, nice uppercut from Lipinets. He's been trying it. Lipinets was sent to the canvas for the first time in his career, a minute 50. Counter left hand lands for Garcia. Slipped the jab, came forward with a couple of punches to the body, lands a left hand upstairs on Garcia. Lipinets is right now. One minute left in the 11th. Mikey's still a mentally excellent fight. Yeah, that goes without saying. I like the adjustment Lipinets has made on the right hand. He's starting to keep his... Before he was going with it, and, and he, but oh, Mikey was just getting big extension. Lipinets by about nine punches. Which Double is left hand scores for gaining 140-pound title fight. Coming up. Okay, so when you're throwing it far away, he's counting with the hook. We gotta get closer. Garcia, another jab, clubbing right hand, another one-two combination scores. Getting a knockdown, it's making sure he puts a punctuation mark on this fight. We'll see. Garcia scored a knockout in the 12th round. Lepinets putting the pressure here. And it's slipping, he's not trying to lose it. No, absolutely not. Oh, minute and a half left. Though Garcia wants to try to get him hurt. Oh, he'll throw a couple of jabs, soft ones, snappy ones. Good effort, Kevin. Lands a left, but Garcia coming back with the one-two. The fight, oh. the determination in wow. Lepinets, who gets rattled right with the right hand. Down both of them looking to close the show. Big power punches from both men. That jab popped Lepinets. A testament to the skill, to the courage, and the heart of these two warriors. As they get Lepinets, but Mikey Garcia with another performance. A man who has elevated his stock going the distance with, again, a man. Welterweight champion of the world, Mikey.